Welcome to a new Java e tutorial. In this video I will show you how to send mails from your Java e application. We will use the Java Mail API to create the mail and send it with the support of the Glassfish Java Mail sessions. First we need to define and create a new Java Mail session. There are two ways to do that. One is the AS admin command and the other one is the admin GUI. We will do this via the admin GUI, but I will provide you the AS admin command as well. Let's open the admin page at localhost 4848, navigate to the resources and then to the Java Mail sessions. Here we will create a new session. The JNDI name is the name which we call in our application to use this mail session. I will start with mail and call it Gmail because we will connect to the Google Mail SMTP server to send our mail. The mail host is smtp.gmail.com or whichever other server you use. You could also put in an IP address here. The default user is usually the user you log in to the server, so maybe a separated username or for Google it's the email address. The default sender address is as well the email address, but if you have a separated user you could now here define the default address which you will send a mail with. This description is optional, but we need to scroll down and add some properties here. There will be four properties. The first one is the mail.smtp.out for authentication. This has to be true, so we need to authenticate against the Google Mail server. In your company probably you don't have this authentication, so you can also set it to false if there are no login credentials needed. Then we add the mail.smtp.startTLS.enable and set it to true. This is another option which is especially used for the Gmail server. This is always depending on your mail provider. And the next command is the mail.smtp.port and the last one is the mail.smtp.password. We save this and now we have an entry here which stores our settings. The equivalent AS admin command would have been create java mail resource, put in the mail host, the mail user, the from address and the properties we also added in the admin GUI. The last parameter here is the name of our mail resource. I will also put this one in the video description. So let's define our email. I have just a blank page with a single submit button and we will say the action of this button will go to our mail bean which we will create now and call this send action. So let's create a new class called mail bean which will be a few scoped managed bean but you can also put this into an EGB that's no problem. First we will inject our resource which is the Java mail session so we call add resource and the name is mail slash gmail or whatever JNDI name you defined in your mail session and this will be a private session from the Java X mail package and I call this session and now we will create our public word send method which is called from our JSF page First we will create a new message from the javax mail package which is our message and will be a new mime message from the javax mail internet package. To initialize it we set our session here which is the session from above. Now we need to add some parameters to our message. The first will be the subject. Here we write example subject or whatever you want. Next one will be the text and the last one will be the recipients where we will only add the to recipient and use the internet address dot parse method to put in an email string here. For this example 
I will just use the 10 minute mail service from the internet. Use this mail, put it in. Now we need to do a try catch around this one and catch the message exceptions. Still there's one step missing here. We have now created the message, but we need to send them by using the transport class from the Java X mail session and call the send message. And now it's being sent out. To get some log information, I will do a sys out send start and down here sys out send finished just to see what's happening in between. So let's test the send mail method. We will open up a new window and call the submit button. Which you see our send start action and now the send finished action. If we now check our mail, we see the mail was sent from our Gmail user with the example subject and also the content is example text. The mail was successfully sent. It's possible for some Gmail users that they are encountering an authentication problem with the SMTP server. If your password and user is correct, you have to check out if your security settings are correct. You need to go to the Google website and the subway page lesser secure apps and make sure that the access for less secure apps is turned on. I will also put this link into your video description. Check it out if you have problems. That's all for now. I hope you enjoyed watching the video. If you have any questions, feel free to write a comment and I hope I see you soon.